Lord, is now never and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, comfort to the spirit of truth, Lord, everywhere present, and fill us to all things, treasury of good things, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, and cleanse us of all impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend unto my supplication, give ear unto my prayer which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth, let mine eyes behold a brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy paths, and my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth hath spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, they have set their eyes to look as cats on the earth. They have taken me as my lion ready for his prey, and as my lion's wealth that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them, and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few do thou separate them from the earth in their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures hath their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine, and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face, I shall be filled when thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Saviour. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorance is remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set the law for them that sit in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him alone the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me up for my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me, let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. 
the innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullets upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <coughs> glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O thou who wast the struggler for the virtues as a true warrior of Christ God, that it's contend greatly against the passions in this transitory life, becoming a model for thy disciples in chanting the keeping of vigils and fast. Wherefore the all spirit made is abode within thee, by whose activity thou art splendidly adorned. As thou hast fullness before the Holy Trinity, be thou mindful of the flock which thou hast assembled, O wise one, and forget it not, as thou hast promised, visiting thy children, O Sergius, our venerable Father, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that hath blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate and accede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Let us and the the Holy Spirit, Amen. Wounded with the love of Christ, O venerable one, and following him with unwavering desire, thou didst despise all the delight of the flesh, and hast shone forth like the sun upon thy native land. Wherefore Christ hath enriched thee with the gift of miracles. Be thou mindful of us who honor thine all radiant memory, that we may cry to thee, Rejoice, O divinely wise Sergius. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 
mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou Lord all passes at every hour in heaven and on earth, but worship and glorify, O Christ God, who at long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassion, and to love us the righteous, and has mercy on sinners, to call us to all the salvation through the promise of the peace to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Thank my our souls, make taste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that God have been guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the cherubim, who without corruption may the church of God, and will be there and there, and will be seen in the night and time. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, one God, and His own power. Have mercy on me, O Son, and God, which has been to tell you, and say, and be thine unworthy servant, for blessed art thou, and to the ages of the ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall into the Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall into the Christ, and God, our King and God. O God, in thy name, save me, and in my strength, to thy blessing. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give thee unto the words of my mouth. For strange has arisen up against me, and my kingdom have sold up to my soul, and have not set God before themselves. So behold, God, help with me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction has God delivered me in my eye, and looked down upon my enemies. Be there, O God, unto my prayer, and restrain not my supplication, and attend unto me, and heal me. I was grieved in thy meditation, and I was troubled with the voice of the enemy, and of the oppression of the sinner. With all day of time, you will be upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death is fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, You will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saveth me from faint-heartedness and from tempest. Plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gainsaying in the city. Day and night they go round about her upon her walls. The iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if mine enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it, and if he that hateth me had spoken ghostful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, O man of like soul with me, my God and my familiar friend, thou who together with me did sweeten my repast in the house of God, I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down alive into Hades, for wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me, unto God have I cried, and the Lord hearkened unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh unto me, for they among many were with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages. But to them there is no requital, because they are not, have not feared God. He hath stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have convened. The works were smoother than oil, and yet they are dark. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shalt bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth on the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. 
With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. <laughs> upon the asp and basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he hath set his hope on me, and I will, I will deliver him, I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him thy salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O thou who wast to struggle for the virtues as a true warrior of Christ God, thou didst contend greatly against the passions in this transitory life, becoming a model for thy disciples, enchanting the keeping of vigils and fast. Wherefore the all Holy Spirit may visible within thee, by whose activity thou wast splendidly adorned. As thou hast fallen before the Holy Trinity, be thou mindful of the flock which thou hast assembled, O wise one, and forget it not as thou hast promised, visiting thy children, O searches, our venerable Father, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, do thou beseech him that was born of thee, O Virgin Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother availeth much to win the master's favor. Disdain not the prayers of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and mighty to save is he who deigned also to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassion swiftly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, and us to pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wounded with the love of Christ, O venerable one, and following him with unwavering desire, thou didst despise all the delight of the flesh, and hast shone forth like the sun upon thy native land. Wherefore Christ hath enriched thee with the gift of miracles. Be thou mindful of us who are on thine all radiant memory, that we may cry to thee, Rejoice, O divine and wise Sergius. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth have worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, 
used by a seal and an heir for the sake of suffering the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. All in great rooms, our most holy, most pure, most blessing, glorious, Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. To thee is to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. unto all thy iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowded thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be of mercy and executed judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. How compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy, not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrought, not according to our iniquities that he dealt with us, Neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man is desert as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even to eternity upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Yes, the Lord, all his angels, mighty and 
sang, the performers were to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Blessed art thou. Parki <speaking in Hebrew> Сами себе и друг друга, и вещи вот наш, Христу Богу предадим.
and protect them from enemies, visible and invisible, from every temptation, harm and sorrow, and deliver them from diseases, and grant them health and length of days. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who does guide the footsteps of mankind, graciously look upon thy servants, Herod of Paisios, Subdeacon Matthew, and Anna, and pardoning them every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Bless the good intention of their counsel and guide their goings out and comings in on the journey. We earnestly pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant. And for all the people here present that awaited thee, great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Merciful God, our town, the lover of mankind, and unto me to be to that glory, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. civil strife, make to cease the spilling of blood, and turn back the misfortune set against them. Lead unto sanctuary those bereft of shelter, feed the hungry, comfort those who weep, unite the divided. Leave not that own flock who abide in sorrows on account of their kinsmen to diminish, but rather as thou art benevolent, give speedy reconciliation. Soften the hearts of the unmerciful and convert them to the knowledge of thee. Grant peace to thy church and to her children and with one heart and one mouth. We may glorify thee, our Lord and Savior, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rainy catechumens to the Lord. Faithful for the catechumens, let us pray to the Lord, will have mercy on them. He will catechize them with the word of truth. He will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. And you will unite them with the holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. God, have mercy. God, have your heads to the Lord. Господу, помолимся. Господи, помилуй. 
patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, and our Lord, the very most reverend Delarian, Metropolitan of Eastern America and of New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, and the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, I'd seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. <clears throat> this land, its authorities, and the faithful that dwell therein. The God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora. The clergy, the monastics, all that have persecuted and suffered for the Orthodox faith. The founders, the benefactors, and the brotherhood of this holy monastery. In the hope of resurrection and life everlasting, the ever-memorable servant of God, Helena, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. All you Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Thy spirit, 
that with one mind we may
especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, holy, pharaoh's hope, most ever virgin, Mary. Give us this day our daily bread, and 
hath given to the poor. His righteousness abideth unto ages of ages. His oil shall be exalted in glory. Soul, for all is empty and fallen, and thou hast not in me a place worthy to lay thy head. 
Let us mount high, let us humble thyself for our sake. Do thou now also, Lord, thyself to my loveliness. And as thou dost consent to lie in a cave and in the manger of them beasts, so consent also to lie in the manger of my irrational soul, and to enter into my defiled body. And as thou dost not refuse to enter into dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so deign also to enter into the house of my lowly soul, leprous and sinful. And as thou dost not reject a harlot and sinner like me when she came and touched thee, so be compassionate also of me a sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And as thou dost feel no loathing for the defiled and unclean lips of her that kissed thee, do thou also not loathe my defiled lips, nor my abominable and pure mouth, and my polluted and unclean tongue. And let the fiery coal of thy most holy body and thy precious blood be unto me for sanctification and enlightenment, and health for my holy soul and body. Unto the lightening of the burden of my many sins, for preservation from every act of the devil, for the expulsion and prohibition of my evil and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the keeping of thy commandments, unto the application of thy divine grace, unto the acquiring of thy kingdom. Amen. With fear of God and with faith to night. The city see that cometh in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. I believe, O Lord, that I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who has come into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Moreover, I believe that this is truly thy most pure body, and that this is truly thine own precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word, word, deed, in knowledge, and in ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, unto the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant. For I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, and let me thee. Let not the communion of thy holy mysteries be unto thee for judgment or condemnation, O Lord, but for the healing of soul and body.
of thy people and bless thy inheritance. We Peace, health, 
Grant that these may be of an to me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for faith unashamed, for love and pain, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom, that being preserved by them in thy holiness, I may always remember thy grace, and no longer live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when I shall have departed this life and hope of life eternal, I may attain unto everlasting rest, where the sound of them that keep festival is unceasing, and the delight is endless of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation of him, the end of the ages. Amen. <coughs> O Master Christ God, King of the ages and Creator of all things, I thank Thee for all the good things which Thou hast bestowed upon me for the communion of Thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I pray Thee, therefore, O good one and lover of mankind, to keep me under Thy protection and in the shadow of Thy wings, and grant me even until my last <laughs> breath to partake worthy of the pure conscience of Thy holy things unto the remission of sins and life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee to be send up glory together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who givest me willingly thy precious food, thou who art fire that doth consume the unworthy, burn me not in my Creator, but rather into thou into my members, into all my joints, my veins, my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins, purify my soul, sanctify my thoughts. Strengthen my substance together with my bones. Enlighten my simple five senses. Nail down the whole of me with thy fear. Ever protect, preserve, and keep me from every soul, corrupting deed and word. Purify, cleanse, and adore me. Make me humbly, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer the habitation of sin. That from me is thine abode through the entry of communion. Every evil doer, every passion may be as from fire. As intercessors, I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the valleyless host, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further thy undefiled, pure mother, whose entreaties do thou accept in thy compassion in Christ, and make thy servant a child of life. For thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, <coughs> and the radiance of our souls. And unto thee, as God and Master, we all send up glory as is meet every day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be unto me for life eternal and thy precious blood for the remission of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And at thy dread second coming, thou save me a sinner to stand at the right hand of thy glory through the intercessions of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady, Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, protection, refuge, consolation, my joy, I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me, who am unworthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. O thou who gavest birth to the true light, do thou enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. Thou who gavest birth to the source of immortality, revive me who am dead in sin. Thou who art the lovingly compassionate mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and grant me compunction and contrition in my heart, and humility in my thoughts, and the recall of my thoughts from captivity. And God save me until my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession with which to heaven glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and most glorified art thou into the ages. Amen. Now that is thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples a light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to 